As of this version, Sketch and Carve also has a mesh deformer named Cage. So let's say we have an object like this and we would like to deform it. Um, all we have to do is activate the plugin and draw a shape that will pretty much cover the object that we want to deform. Something like this. Press K and click Cage. And when you go to user perspective, we need to make a few adjustments to engulf this entire object. I'm going to first transform this, translate the object we just created and increase the extrusion like this. And all we have to do now is to click bind and press K to set it. And you can now turn off the cage modifier and press Alt V to switch to object mode and select our cage. And if you go into edit mode and let's turn on X-ray so we can see all the points. If I select a bunch of points like this and press G to move, you'll see that I can now deform the entire object. I'll do this from the front view. Let's turn on the proportional editing tools also. Well, here we are cartoonifying our object. And um, because the modifier is actually a mesh object, you can also, <laughs> you should be able to select faces. I don't know why I can't select this face. Hmm. This is the demo bug, isn't it? Anyway, let's do this instead. And rotate. Let's go to uh, view, turn off the X-ray. And here you are, a cartoony car. But the best part of this is actually this modifier is live. It actually has a bunch of shape key set and you can animate it like this normal car cartoony normal cartoony <laughs> you're not limited to one deformer only if you needed to deform a certain part of the object uh, locally all you have to do is just like last time select object press k draw a new cage shape encompassing only the local area that you would like to deform. In this case, maybe this section and press K. And if you have changed your settings from the previous one, all you have to do is just do the same steps, uh, adjust the translation and the extrusion. And you can also, just like any other object that you just created, you can add some subdivisions and make this more like a lattice deformer, if you like. And after that, all you have to do is, just like last time, press bind and press K to set it. Now we can turn this off. And Alt V to go to object mode, select our new cage shape, press tab to go into edit mode. Let's turn on X-ray, let's select a few points. And now we have local controls. And uh, because this is actually a mesh object, we can also select polygon surfaces. Use all the other transform tools, scale, rotate, and whatnot. Okay, and here it is. Let's go back to our object view. And just like the previous one, of course, this also has a shape key already set, which you can animate. The previous one is still active, as you would imagine. If any point your cage deformer stops working after an operation you did on your main object, that means that you change the uh, polygon count on your main object, and that usually puts the deformer out of commission. 
And all you have to do then is just simply rebind it. You can use these unbind bind buttons. Um, first, select your cage deformer, set it to zero position, and select your main object and click bind again. And then your object will be ready to go. So here's our cartoony, not cartoony, cartoony, not cartoony car. With the exception of this nose section. When it is time to set your object, all you have to do is select the cage object and set it to where you'd like to freeze it at. And let's say somewhere like this. We want this car to be cartoony, but maybe not that cartoony. And uh, let's select other object too. This one has zero influence. Let's increase that a bit too. And uh, after that's done, uh, simply select your mesh object, the main object, press K and apply cage. Select apply cage modifiers again and press OK. Here's your new model. So this is a new cage modifier. Enjoy. Thank <laughs> you.